I wanted to share a key essential step in awakening your divine feminine power on this journey and really taking your power back. And that step is fully becoming aware of and taking accountability of your feminine shadow. So masculine and feminine energy both, when you're operating from fear-based separation consciousness, they both operate from their shadow. Versus when you're abiding in heart-centered unity consciousness, your feminine and masculine will be operating from their divine expression. And this journey is about coming home to yourself and allowing yourself to thrive as a fully divine woman in this lifetime. Fully, fully human, fully, fully divine, and fully, fully expressed as a divinely worthy woman. And so this requires both your feminine and your masculine energy to be fully expressed in their divine expression, not the shadow expression. And if you are a divine feminine on this journey and you're resonating with that, it's time to look really closely and become very intimate with your feminine shadow. Because your feminine shadow is rooted in a sense of powerlessness, helplessness, a fear of separation, and it's also a cause of manipulation and very controlling. And so it's very fear-based. What happens on this journey is the divine feminine is triggered. Her abandonment wounds are triggered. That longing for unity and connection and oneness which already exists within her, but she is mistakenly looking outside of herself for wholeness and for completeness and for love and approval. And so she goes seeking outside of herself for this validation in the externalized world of form, oftentimes in what you would refer to as a divine counterpart on this journey. And your divine counterpart is your perfect mirror. So what's really happening when you're chasing your divine counterpart, whether that be physically or energetically, when you are reaching outside of yourself in any fashion to externally validate yourself, whether that be in a relationship or, you know, career, success, money, material possessions, when you're seeking outside of yourself, what you're doing is you're trying to fill this inner void with something in the externalized world. And that's not what this journey is about. This journey is about you coming home to yourself and realizing that you are already whole and complete and really awakening that divine feminine essence within you, the divine presence within you. But when you're going out and you're basically running from yourself, that's what the chasing is. When you're chasing external external things in the 3D world in order to fill this perceived void within you, You're running from your true self. You're running from your true divine nature. And you're abandoning yourself. This is a form of self-denial. The wounded feminine or shadow feminine energy is very much rooted in self-denial and self-betrayal. And so what you're saying is, that out there can fix me. That person, that thing, that situation, that circumstance, that's going to make me feel whole and complete. I don't have it within myself. And so what happens if you're operating from your feminine shadow is you begin to overgive or people please or say yes when what you really feel like is saying no or actually losing your authentic expression in a connection, losing yourself, not speaking your truth. In essence, not having any healthy boundaries that fully support you in this lifetime. You end up over giving and people pleasing and giving all of your power away in hopes that by doing so, you can get this person or situation to reflect back something to you that's going to make you feel whole and complete. So you actually, you know, you twist yourself into some expression that isn't truly authentic to you in order to gain that validation. 
And so this is actually a very passive form of manipulation and needing to control, which is all rooted in fear. Because you need a situation or a person to be a certain way or or to have a certain situation occur in your life in order for you to feel whole and complete. So you have no boundaries, right? And you are over giving and and people pleasing and depleting yourself and operating from an empty cup and being a yes woman when really you want to say no and set a healthy boundary. But you don't because you don't have an, a very integrated, mature, masculine energy yet within you. So you don't have the courage to draw that line in the sand and set that healthy boundary. The reason that becoming aware of your feminine shadow is first and foremost so essential is because what happens on this journey is when you're in this position of overgiving and people pleasing and saying yes and bleeding your boundaries very thin and just becoming a doormat and settling and compromising your values and accepting crumbs when really you deserve everything, all the abundance and the prosperity and the love that the universe can provide for you. This is all what everybody deserves, but as you're settling and as you're compromising your values and you're giving your power away in the disguise of being this giving, loving, helpful, good girl that's always there to support and love unconditionally and always be there for the other, even when your needs are not being met, even when your values are not in alignment with what's happening, right? Even when all of that's happening, you're still showing up with this sense of, you know, good girl, loyal, loving, unconditional, supportive persona, which looks really, quote unquote, good from the outside. But if you were really honest and you dive deeper below that layer, is a level of fear and you're giving to the extent that it's self-compromising. It's not healthy. It's not equal give and take. You're giving more than you're receiving. Your masculine and your feminine is out of balance and it's depleting you and it's leaving you feeling unloved, un- not respected, you know, abandoned and betrayed and and all the things. But what you really have to look at is that you're allowing this, right? If you're continuously showing up in this way in an attempt to manipulate a situation or a circumstance or a person in order to get them or the situation to bend to your will in order to reflect back what you truly need in order to feel whole and complete. Well, it's no one's job outside of yourself for you to feel whole and complete. And the pitfall on at this stage, which is why recognizing your feminine shadow and becoming honest with it and really taking full accountability is it's very easy to come from this place of giving and always being loving and supportive, even at your own expense, and then play the victim card. And... and perceive all of this to be happening to you and totally discount your role in this dynamic and in this polarity. But what's really happening is you're abandoning yourself. There's a level of self-denial. The feminine, the wounded shadow feminine is rooted in self-denial, self-betrayal, and self-abandonment. And if you're having an experience with a divine counterpart, they can only reflect back what's happening within you. That's why they're your perfect mirror. So the first step is really becoming clear on your own shadow and taking full accountability for that. And then the next step is integrating a healthy, mature, sacred, masculine energy and filling that perceived void within with your own self-love and 
your own self-reflection and self-awareness and courage and strength and independence and all the things that, you know, your masculine energy represents within you, drawing those healthy boundaries and maintaining them, protecting your inner feminine by having those strong, healthy boundaries. So the next phase is really integrating a mature, healthy, sacred, masculine energy. And why is this the next phase in fully allowing yourself to awaken and blossom into your feminine essence? Because the feminine, which is connected to your heart space, can only open and blossom if it feels safe to do so. And guess whose job it is to make you feel safe to do so? It's your inner masculine's job to make you feel safe to do so. The problem lies when you're looking for that safety in some person outside of yourself. And if you're resonating as a divine feminine, this usually looks like a masculine energy dominant person. You're looking to the masculine to save you. You're looking for the masculine to keep you safe. You're looking for the masculine to make you feel whole and complete and protected and again you're looking outside of yourself for that when really you should be turning to your own inner sacred masculine so I hope this resonates this is what wanted to come through today if it did I would love to hear from you in the comments below if you would like support on your journey and you're ready to fully claim your divine sovereignty as a divinely worthy woman, I invite you to check out Embody the Empress, which is my divine feminine monthly immersion. You can check out all the details in the caption below this video. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.